I've been living a low waist life for 10 years. There are swaps that I love and swaps that I hate. Hi, I'm Maria and welcome to Living Planet Friendly where I document my imperfect low waist lifestyle. friendly swaps that you can make along your journey. Some of them are a bit greenwashy, some of them don't work, some of them do work but are expensive, and some of them are my ride or dies. I have a blog post with a huge list of every single eco-friendly swap that I found. There's over 200 on there. If you're looking for inspiration, here are my top five and my low five. These are in no particular order. In my top five definitely has to be my Leaf Shave Razor. You'll always hear me sing praises about it. It's an all metal razor like a safety razor but follow follows the design of a disposable razor. I get a closer shave. The blades are recyclable and the blades are so cheap. You can just snap a regular safety razor blade in half. Any brand doesn't have to be theirs or you can buy their blades. The razor is a bigger upfront cost but worth it in my opinion because it pays for itself within a year. And then the cost for shaving the following years is less than $10. I love the Leaf Razor, I love their Derma Planer, and I can't wait to see what they come up with next. Also in my top five, wood dish brushes. These have become a staple in our kitchen. I love my metal handle dish brush. We found the actual metal handle from Ikea. Most of the other handles are wood. The heads are replaceable and they can be composted when they're ready to be. I no longer buy plastic sponges, which just harbor bacteria. They have to be changed bi-weekly which is just crazy to me. 400 million sponges are discarded per year just in the United States and they take several hundred years to decompose. So bamboo is worth it. They can be easily sanitized. There are several different types. They're a great kitchen tool and such an easy swap to make. And they're very cost effective because my bamboo brushes last at least six months. I can't believe I'm saying this, but the next in my top five is my Tushy Bidet. We love our bidet. We bought it about eight months ago and it has truly been one of the best swaps we've ever made. When we went on our honeymoon for 10 days, we joked that we missed our cat, our bed, our shower, and our bidet. It was really easy to hook up. We also go through like no bamboo toilet paper now. It's just crazy how much it saves. Next in my top five has to be dryer balls. We have saved so much money. We no longer buy dryer sheets. They cut our drying time for our dryer in half, which reduces our utility bills. They reduce the static on our clothing and they have some really cute fun designs. I've been using dryer balls for several years to replace dryer sheets. Somewhere around six years ago, I made the switch. They've been such a great purchase and even the ones that I bought six years ago look brand new. Definitely recommend. My last favorite in my top five has to be refillable candles. Gone are the days of me shopping at Bath and Body Works spending $30 on a toxic candle and here are the days with me using those old Bath and Body Works containers to fill with refills. My favorite brand is Everly. There are several brands on the market that I like. They're so easy to make. All you have to do is melt the wax, put the wick in the container, pour the wax in, and let it sit. I love that we live in a world where refillable candles are a thing, especially since 35 million candle containers end up in the landfill every year. It was really hard to narrow down my top five. I have several other favorite eco-friendly products. I'm running through them all on my short form platforms in my Eco 101 series with 101 eco-friendly swaps to make, so go check out my TikTok playlist for more. Now the controversial part, my low five. These are swaps I've personally made and tried, didn't like for one reason or another. I'll share the reasons why I don't like them and what I use instead. This one is definitely controversial, but I hate refillable deodorant. I've tried several different cases, several different brands. They all suck. Pretty much all of them. I really love the formulas for the deodorant but the cases are just not it. One of them had a metal base and the deodorant sat uncovered on top. The deodorant broke off the case within a week and then it was unusable because it wouldn't stick back on. And it was a pretty common problem with this type of case after I did research on it. So then I was holding a chunk of deodorant in my hands, putting it on, putting it back on the case, and then having to go wash my hands. Another type is one that doesn't stay up when you push it up. So when I swipe, I end up scraping the metal case along my skin or I'm awkwardly sticking my fingers up the base and holding it so it sticks out while also trying to put it on. It's a process. Instead, I opt for Hey Humans deodorant. It's a compostable tube. I want to love refillable deodorant. And if you have one that you think really works and it's gonna change my mind, let me know. But reusable cases are just not it right now for me. Next up on my list, is powder dry shampoo. I tried buying it, I tried making it. It's just something that I could never recommend because I found that it never really worked. I don't know if it's my hair type or what. I feel dirty after I use it. I don't know if I just don't have the right color or type of hair, but it's a no for me. I just 
shower and if I it's a day where my hair is really greasy and I just have to leave I don't have time I put my hair up in a bun and maybe throw a headband on over it it's fine another in my lo five menstrual cups I know people that love them and swear by them so take this with a grain of salt but it was just not for me they come in several different shapes and sizes honestly I didn't want to keep spending $30 on a cup only for it not to work so I use period underwear and a menstrual disc honestly it depends on the day it depends on what I'm feeling but menstrual discs there's really only two shapes and sizes unlike cups where there are several different shapes and sizes so maybe one day I'll try them again but it's just not for me another controversial in my low five biodegradable bags or recycled plastic bags like snack sandwich gallon bags trash bags etc I think they work and they do the job but they are ridiculously expensive making them inaccessible to the average person I would not spend ten dollars on a box of bags when the store brand or name brand of sandwich bags cost two dollars it just doesn't make sense I hope one day they can come down in price a bit to be more comparable but right now it's just not accessible in price. I prefer reusable bags like Stasher because you buy them once you can use them forever but in their own way that's also not accessible to parents that are packing lunches for several kids. Always trusting they'll come home with a reusable, always having to clean it overnight. I get that too but for my house Stasher is our go-to. The last one in my low five is reusable tissues. I can't stand them. I have really bad allergies. I'm known as the girl allergic to everything. So we go through a box of tissues every two to three weeks. It just is what it is. I tried reusables. My nose just gets so red and raw. And you have to have like several sets of them if you're like me because otherwise you'd be doing daily laundry. I don't have time for that. The bamboo ones aren't as soft on my nose and make my nose raw too. That's something I'll probably never switch over to completely. Living low waste is not a race and it's so important to go at your own pace. Sorry for that corny rhyme. But really, there are swaps that some people will use and love and some swaps that people will hate. Living sustainably is not a one size fits all and it never will be. I hope this breakdown was helpful and maybe inspired you to try something new. Let me know in the comments what your favorite and least favorite swaps are. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other platforms on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest. Happy low waste living and see you next time.